Joe Bustillo is here with tonight's final thoughts. Turns out that regaining my mobility, especially increasing my walking and exercising, means that I have to get back to a number of things that I wasn't really very good about doing before. Things like stretching before and after a workout, uh, getting enough water during the day, and God forbid getting enough sleep every night. Damn. And this is much more than just a minor annoyance. Let's just say that I'm getting really tired of waking up with horrendous leg cramps. It certainly doesn't help my need for sleep to have this concern about waking up sometime around 6 a.m. when my right leg decides that it's going to fire with all of its increasing strength. New no thanks. So being the plugged in tech guy that I am, I decided that I would go ahead and check out some apps to see what's out there that would probably help me be a bit more consistent, uh, especially with this whole uh, stretching thing. So turning to uh, iTunes, you can see that there are dozens and dozens and dozens of all sorts of different uh, stretching apps. Uh, you know, I wouldn't even know exactly where to begin, but I did find, uh, and there it's, I don't even know where this came up, but I did find uh, one app by um, Junior Olympic hurdler, uh, Michelle Jenicki. Unless you don't know who Michelle Jenicki is, her claim to fame is her high-spirited warm-up routine that for some strange reason has been quite a uh, YouTube video sensation. And um, so, gee, I don't understand why this would motivate anybody or why this would be popular. Here's a clip from the actual app itself. So, in the words of uh, one reviewer, uh, yeah, I downloaded this for science. Um, sure, I, I guess really what it comes down to, uh, all joking aside, is uh, whatever motivates you to, to actually get up and do the thing is, you know, certainly whatever works. So I actually did um, download the app to my iPhone. It is an iPhone app, and um, it's a series of short, like, um, 16 videos where she demonstrates or does, okay, so we're going to do a very short jogging, and then she tells you what to do. Now, it doesn't actually, it's like we're going to do five um, sets of whatever the activity is, and then you can do it. Now, obviously, you don't have to literally do it, uh, but that kind of defeats the purpose to not actually do it. Now, as an iPhone app, you might think, well, that's kind of inconvenient to have that. Well, uh, in iPhone world, what you can basically do is you can uh, use, if you happen to have an Apple TV like I do, then I can actually take this this video and put it onto my big screen TV or, you know, and so I'm not really having to try to do the exercise carrying the damn phone around. Um, now, does this, is this really going to work? I don't know. I, I Really, the po whole point of it is whatever motivates you and if, you know, having a, a, a very attractive young lady uh, guide you in exercises is, is motivating, gee, I wonder, um, then sure, I'm sure it would work. The, you know, the, really the point is using the technology to, uh, to, do, to, to motivate you to be, in my case, consistent. And so, uh, like in the old, when I first started some of this stuff, actually several years ago, I used a website called Habit Forge. Uh, built on the premise that if you do, if you set a goal, one particular goal, and you do it for 21 days straight, then it goes from being an activity to a habit, and then, you know, this thing that you're trying to do, your lifestyle, will, you know, move forward. And um, and it was, you know, it, it pretty much worked. Um, this particular website doesn't seem to. It's not, they talk about an app, but there's no app on the app store that I can tell. So as far as I know, it's kind of defunct. And so what I've actually done since then for the exercise part of my routine, the consistent tracking thing, I use a, 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 an app that's available on iOS and as a, on the web. And then I believe also on, um, on Android is uh, Runtastic. And for me, the convenience is, is that if I actually go outside and do you know, you know, in my case, walking, then um, I just um, hit the start button and then it tracks my activity based on the, the GPS. And to me, to a certain extent, it tends to be 
a little bit more consistent than if you are going and doing that sort of thing. It's more consistent in terms of uh, tracking the actual distance versus, because in the old days I had a little clip on um, pedometers and depending on whether you properly calibrated it or whether it was in the right location, et cetera, et cetera, um, was whether those things work. Now, obviously, you know, we're in a whole new world with all this tracking stuff. But for me, with the technology I have with my iPhone, this works. Now, if I'm on my uh, treadmill, the uh, Runtastic GPS is not going to work at all. But in that case, what I basically do is I've got the, the treadmill is measuring my distances and, and my time. And so after I'm done with the workout, I can use Runtastic in the history function and go ahead and input uh, the data manually. And so it keeps track of my workout. And if I choose to share it, I can go ahead and post the information. And I usually do post the information. And again, that has to do with a certain level of uh, what you know accountability. Most of this stuff works if it works. Number one, uh, it, it works because it it, um, it does some of the work for you in terms of the reminder and in terms of um, being kind of a virtual coach, right? And um, and uh, and so that's that's the tool I use here. So when it so the next step for me was the next app that I actually end up ended up using or have begun using is uh, MyNet Diary. And there's a there's a ton of tracking apps out there, and and obviously you know the stretching apps and all these fitness apps. There's just tons and tons of these. Um, these are the ones that I use that have been have worked for me. Uh, MyNet Diary. What I like about it is it it also it does the um, it does the the food thing, which is the other half of the whole fitness thing. Especially in my case, you know what what <laughs> I joked with somebody recently, and I, I said, you know, a year ago or actually about a year and a half ago, um, it was important that I eat because there was. You know, I was on pain medication, so my digestion was all messed up and, you know, I was losing weight, et cetera, et cetera. And so the concern was, you know, maintaining my weight or gaining weight in my case at that point. Well, turns out I don't have a problem gaining weight now. Now I need to find a way uh, to balance it. And that's really what this is about in a lot of ways is, um, you know, I've gone through something. It's kind of given me a second chance or in my case, um, I can't even tell you how many chances. But it's given me another chance, and so I want to use the technology to um, to help me in this process. And so, um, you know, the the uh, Michelle Jenicky uh, application, you know, if that if you know if that works, then I you know why not? I mean, really, it's I I am finding that I do get you know really serious leg cramps, and you know that's not any fun. And all I need to do is be more consistent with the stretching before and after and uh, and i'm sure you know it's going to help out with uh, with my body you know trying to find a balance and and really the apps end of this whole thing the technology end of this is uh helping with consistency you know because it's got a clock it it basically tells me when it helps me track what i'm doing it helps me record what i'm doing and then as I share this stuff, because of course all this stuff is on the internet, all this stuff you know you can basically share on uh, Facebook, gives me a kind of a sense of community and accountability, and that always helps a little bit. You know, I see what uh, my coworkers and friends are doing, and so that kind of keeps me in that mindset. And then obviously, especially you know with the uh, with the little, uh, the, you know the the cute female on the on the on the app. You know, you want to have fun. You've got to have some sense of fun. If it's the same thing, you're always doing the same thing, and you're not having fun, you're not going. It, it, it will never get to the point of you doing it consistently enough for it to be a habit. You know, you'll, you'll, and I've done this a ton of times, where you know I kind of ease up into it, and then I'm just like doing it every day, and then you know something happens, I get sick or I run out of, uh, you know, it's a busy day, and then before you know it. <laughs> I have now developed the habit of not doing it. And so without, you know, these things, consistency, uh, accountability, community, and fun, you know, it, it's just not going to, uh, it's just not going to be the habit that I need because I don't want to have to go through what I've gone through over the past two years to remind myself um, that if I'm going to have, um, 
the quality of life that I want for myself, I have to do what I need to do to live that life. It, it, I can't, you know, I may be, you know, I am middle-aged, um, but that's no excuse for me to just retire onto the couch and wait for death. You know, um, I need to do something. I need to do what I can do, and I obviously can do that. And having, again, over the past two years, having had my mobility taken from me, uh, it's it's very precious. And so I need to do these sorts of things, and the technology is there to help out. And if, you know, a, a cute uh, girl doing her exercises is motivation for me to do the goddamn stretching that I don't want to do, then, you know, whatever it takes. So that's my rambling thoughts of the night, um, and uh, we will catch you next time. Bye-bye. Let's just play that video some more. Um...